Hey guys, uh, welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you if, um, how to bend text and also how to animate um, sort of bent text like this one. This is, is quite a um, popular thing at the moment. So you've got this kind of coming in on a curve and then stay in there for however long you want. Uh, that's one example. The next example is just how to have a sort of static one like this. Um, just on any sort of path I just did like a little squiggle. Um, you can have any path you want or how to wrap text around a circle. It's the same and animate it, you don't have to animate it, but it's the same principle. Um, and I'll be showing you how to do um, these inside of After Effects. So let's um, stop playing that and let's delete these text layers. So first thing you wanna do is, I'll show you how to do the one that comes in on a curve. Um, first thing you wanna do is create a text. So I'm gonna just create bendy text, okay? And let's give it a little explanation mark. Um, next thing you want to do, with that layer selected, this is just my um, background colour, so I'll lock it, um, but with this text layer selected, get the, excuse me, get the pen tool, uh, click here, and then I'm going to do another click by here and drag, so we've got this sort of um, curve, uh, just like that. Okay, and then just get your selection tool up here, just to make sure that we finish making that. Now, all you need to do is come down into the drop down, go to text, and then path options, and then we'll map this text to part mask one, which we've just drawn. Now we've got some options here. Um, you've got reverse path, so it goes upside down or on top. And then you've got, I'm just gonna drag uh, first margin a little bit just so it brings it in. This basically places it anywhere on there, or last margin um, would push it back if it was a circle, but we'll come to that later. Now force alignment um, spreads it out equally. Now, this first margin, if I bring this back down here, and this last margin will now work, it's the, it spreads it out equally between the first and last margin, basically these two points which you can click and drag here. So if you just wanted it static, you can just click and drag and say I want it on this curve, but I want it between these two specific points. So you can either drag them in the display, or you can drag the values by here. Um, now I'm going to turn perpendicular, I'll just show you perpendicular to path off, uh, no, not perpendicular, not that one, uh, force alignment. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're just going to animate this property. So we animate it coming in. So I'm going to take it all the way off, down by here, come to the beginning, set a keyframe for the first margin, come forward about 40 frames, like so. And then I'm going to click and drag so it sets another keyframe and animates in like so. I'm going to get this last keyframe and select it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F9 on my keyboard so it goes to an easy ease keyframe. Um, let's minimize this now. I will also chuck motion blur on by there. If you can't see that, just click toggle switches and make sure motion blur is on for the composition. So now when we play this through, what we'll get is our, let's just let it preview, our text coming in like so along a bendy line. Now you don't have to animate it if you don't want to. Um, so let's just leave it where it's there and we, we can delete the keyframes if we wanted to, so just hit U when you're on that layer and you can delete the keyframes, but I'm not gonna bother. Um, and then however long you want it, you can shorten this, say when you want it there for eight seconds, then it'll finish by the time eight seconds are done. So that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna show you another couple of examples just to make sure you got it. So I'm gonna turn this layer off, type bendier text, bendier, no, bendier. There you go, bendier text, so it's even bendier. Now, what I'll do is just show you that you can do any path, really, so make sure this layer is selected. Get this pen tool, I'm gonna to go like so, just very, very briefly, and spin like this. There we go. Now, if I go back down into the text, path options, and let's go select mask one because we've only drawn one mask on here and it's going to map it to that. Now, if we turn, bring a first margin in so we can actually see what's going on, they actually cross over each other. So I may force alignment and come down. Last margin will take to about here, I think. And first margin, could bring that across a bit if we wanted to or leave it there. And let's go turn perpendicular to path off. So then they're not going to cross over each other. So instead of the end snapping, watch the end now when I turn it on, instead of it snapping to the path, it'll just be upright. And so yeah, that's how you get it along a path like that. So I may 
bring the first and last margin in a bit and then when we just click off you'll see that we've got it along a path and that can be any path you want whatsoever um, now the last one I'm going to show is the circle and how we animate that so let's go and type wrap text around a circle let's just bring this back in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this circle up here ellipse tool with this layer selected I'm going to click and drag hold and shift a circle like so and I'm going to move it across now you may be wondering what's going on well at the moment because we haven't assigned the text to go around the path it's actually masking the text but don't worry all we need to do is come to text path options and the same as before mask one and this time I'm going to have reverse path so it goes on the outside and here we go we've got first and last margin like so so what we can do is just animate it so we'll come in go to the first margin and come forward maybe 50 frames and actually I wanted to start there so I'm going to swap these keyframes around so it starts where it's where it's kind of back to front and then we'll pull it around where we can read it like so um I may just come in make sure I'm on that keyframe yeah and pull it around just a tad bit more like so okay so I'm gonna hit F9 on this keyframe again so we get a nice easy ease and then like we did before what we want to do is make sure that motion blur is turned on for this layer and for the composition and so now when we play it back wrap text around a circle will animate around that circle now this goes for absolutely any path that you draw with the pen tool or with the shape tools but as you can see this is how we um, bend text and manipulate it around a path inside of After Effects so I hope you enjoyed that um, I think my my version the one I prefer the most is this one because if it's just a little caption that comes in when somebody's talking it's a nice sort of fun way of doing it so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one Cheers. Bye.